Hi everyone. Um, happy past Valentine's Day. I am making this video right now because my husband bought me this new little video camcorder so that I can make my YouTube videos for my paint pouring. So I'm giving it a try on you guys. And this first video I'm going to do is I'm going to make my homemade pouring medium. So when I do my paintings, um, all the paints that I use, you have to usually mix it one part paint to one part pouring medium. You can buy pouring mediums in the stores, but I wouldn't recommend it because like this little bottle of Liquitex pouring medium um, is 32 ounces. Um, it goes for $40, but since I had a 50% off coupon yesterday, I only paid 20. And I'm going to use this in my homemade pouring mediums, but just a little small amounts. And I'm going to give it a try. It's brand new, something I don't ever normally do. But I'm going to experiment. I like to experiment. Okay, so my favorite YouTube artist that I like to follow is Julie Cuts from Pouring Your Heart Out. Karen from Waterfall Acrylics. Um... Everybody has tons of pouring medium recipes and I have collected a bunch of them over time and I've made up charts and I do like forwarding them to whoever likes to um, have them. I love to share. Um, so I got recipes to do swipes, recipes to do flip cups and ring trees and the bloom effect and... Um, it's a little bit of different types of pouring mediums depending on what types of pouring techniques you're going to be doing. And um, normally I make my pouring mediums out of glue and water and Floetrol. Sometimes people just use plain flood Floetrol and you get this at the hardware stores, either like Home Depot or Lowe's comes in a big gallon and um, I just put things in other smaller containers to make it easier and the glue a lot of the artists uses they use glue all I've never used glue all um, I just use regular Elmer school glue because I get this at Walmart and it's about ten dollars ten eighty eight for a gallon glue all is much more money and I don't really see much of a difference myself so I just figure why spend the extra money especially since I'm still always in the experimenting mode now maybe once I start maybe selling and getting my art out for gifts I will use a better glue um, I guess it's PVA I don't see anywhere here where it says it's PVA so that's probably the difference but anyway, great stuff to use for experimenting. And um, some people just use plain water. I like my paintings to have a lot of cells in them. And let me show you some of my art to show you what I'm kind of talking about. So bear with me while I move you around. And this is one of the ones I just did a few days ago and it is a swipe it is I believe I used more of the bloom effect so I've got the white house paint on the bottom and cell activator this one doesn't really have much cells I tried the spinning technique where I put it on a spin table and spun with the bloom effect recipe and up on my walls this is where I keep all my paintings in my craft room so they're all over mostly the top of my walls and some down below um let's see I'm running out of wall space as you can see I have a little bit of room there 
but I have a lot of paintings that I still need to put up. Got some on the floor, got some over here drying. Um, yeah, so let's see. This was a flip cup with painter's tape to not cover everything. A uh, flip cup. I believe a flip cup. I've got, uh, I believe this one was done with a ring tree pour. Ring tree on glass. This is a swipe with a lot of pretty cells. And... Some of them, uh, this one is resin, and I love resin, how resin looks. It just makes it look like glass. It's really hard to see different things in, on the picture on the camera. Most of my art, they all have my vinyl, because I now have a Cricut machine. This has a little heart tree. Um, I don't want it to take over completely like this one did. This is a big piece of vinyl. But just little ones like my little dragon, this is my Dutch pour. Dutch pours with my hair dryer. This is a ring tree, yet no vinyl. Uh, several ring trees with um, just a gold tree blowing in the wind. Um, now I recently started putting some of my paintings in frames. Not sure how I like it. You don't need to really do any varnishing or resin if you're going to put it in a frame. Um, this one was the bloom effect and I blew it out. I might have like four blooms that I blew out. A ring tree. Cherry blossoms. Okay, that is my very, very first painting that I got addicted with paint pouring. I took a class with my friend Tony. Thank you, Tony, for... I think I thank you for getting me <laughs> addicted. I'm not sure if I, I spent thousands of dollars so far. Um, this is another bloom effect in a frame that I put up there. Sorry, family, but you're probably going to have to go because I need to make room for my um, paintings. So, yeah, let's get started on making this pouring medium. Okay. I'm going to put you back. So, bear with me. I will probably do a lot of editing. Okay. What can you see here? Don't need to see the tummy. Okay. So, I was just watching a video by Julie Cutts with her doing one of her swipes. So, I'm going to do that recipe. She is using three parts Floetrol. So I'm going to be measuring my mixture with this little, I believe this is a three ounce um, bathroom cup. So I'll do three of these. One, um, you see that there is a nylon on top of my lid. That's because Flood Floetrol is very lumpy and clumpy and it has all kinds of goop in there. So before I start using it, I give it a really, really good shake. But there's a nylon on there to um, make sure the lumps and clumps don't come out. Okay, so there's two. And this will be three parts. Okay, three parts flood flow trial. And then she uses one part of glue all, but I'm going to use my Elmer's glue, not glue all. Oops. And here is my one part. I hope this container is big enough. Okay, now she uses a half a part of pouring medium. She said your favorite pouring medium. So this is where I'm going to use my brand new Liquitex. And yeah, I knew that was going to happen. Teeth? Teeth work. <laughs> oh, yuck. <laughs> Don't do that. Okay, so I'm going to... Oh, 
silly little bugger. I'm going to use a half a part, so that means a half a cup of this three ounce cup. And then she uses a quarter part of distilled water. So if that was a half a part of pouring medium, then a quarter part of water will just, you know, just be down there. So let me grab my water out. And we always use distilled water because two reasons um it doesn't have any of the um minerals and all that kind of stuff that can ruin your paintings over time and this whole bottle a uh, gallon of water is only a dollar so why not okay so just a very tiny bit of water okay so this little container that i got from the dollar store is a good perfect size to make this pouring medium for this project that I'm doing and I will give it a good shake um yes yeah, so all kinds of different pouring mediums oh my gosh this isn't making this is making a mess okay dollar store stuff you're going this is going to happen um so I have like I said there's all kinds of different recipes for pouring mediums. Um, also, Julie cuts his recipe. Uh, this is pretty much her regular uh, recipe for a lot of her things. Um, my Shelly Bloom uh, pouring medium, glue, um, titanium white. I always pretty much keep titanium white mixed up because most everything, I know it's hard to see titanium, it's titanium white made with Julie Cutts's pouring medium. Um, so I don't want to make up a big batch of pouring medium right now because it's just for me for this project. And let me put you down again. And um, a lot of times I do make up these big bottles of pouring medium because I'll be, I teach classes. Um, usually I try to teach a class once a month at the North Las Vegas Hobby Lobby. And I think I'm going to get ready to have another one next week. And I also do private classes. Um, whoever wants to hire me, we can go to Hobby Lobby and you can invite your family and friends. Uh, minimum, I like minimum of six students. And about my average is about 12 students. And I only charge $15 per person. I know, crazy, huh? <laughs> okay, so I got my pouring medium made up. And that is for now. And if you would like to have recipes of this sheet, I can email it to you, which has Julie Cutts's recipes for when she does her flip cups and ring trees. She uses um, glue, water, and Floetrol. For her swipes, she uses just glue and water. Uh, I think this is pretty much my favorite recipe that she has. And she puts things in grams or ounces, which is good because I believe she's from Australia. So we don't really go by grams, we go by the ounces. So it's all uh, put out in different parts so that anybody can make these recipes. This is probably my all-time favorite, the Shelly Art Bloom recipe. And that gives you the lacing and the spider web effect. Um, and that is pretty much going viral on YouTube in the pouring paint pouring industry. And everybody has different types of recipes for it, which most of the products are from hardware stores. Uh, because the originator, Shelly, is from, where's she from? I think Australia. I'm not quite sure. I can't remember. Uh, a lot of the products you can't get in the U.S. And so uh, different people have come up with their own version of what they use. And uh, Karen from Waterfall Acrylics, love following her. Um, here's 
three different recipes. Heather Mater, I love to follow her as well. So many others, and I can give you a list of all my favorite people I follow. So, that is my video on pouring mediums. Hope you enjoyed. Follow me, subscribe, like, and I'm going to start doing more videos because I have to since my husband bought me this camcorder. And I like it. And I love sharing. I love teaching. I love getting people addicted. If I'm going to get addicted, then I want everybody else to get addicted. And what else can I say? Um, that's about it for now. So my next video is probably going to be the swipe. Bye.